Okay, Sam, here we go. Okay. We go in first. Woohoo! Sam is going to ride the safari ride. You go first. I'll keep recording. Sam, here you come, buddy. Well, I'll sit behind. So that means you can sit there. Or she'll sit with me or whatever. Oh, make sure you strap him in. Don't need him bouncing around. Are there hooks or do they just go? No, there's hooks on it. There are hooks? Okay. Yep. Lindsay's help getting you strapped in, Sam. He is going to ride the safari bus. <laughs> She's strapping you in. Hi. Yes, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Are you good? You good? He loves any type of bus. He's excited. This is a really cool bus. Here she goes, buddy. She's getting you strapped in there. Did you ask her her name yet? No. Give her the ooh la la, Sam. <laughs> what are you doing to me? He's riding the safari bus. We'll take a little bit more when we're on the trail. But he had fun getting strapped in. He's talking to her a lot. Can you wiggle it? Can you give it a shake? Good? Yeah. 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 There you go. Thank you. Oh, she was at the end of it. She's cranking the door. It was loud. That broke Sam up. Sunday Sun Awarded. As we say here in Harambe, when day, let's go. There we go. Heather and I'll be your safari guide today through the Wildlife Preserve site. You'll see the bongo. There he is, they are right there. Ghosts in the forest because they're rarely seen. They're long, heavy, Oh, he's running. That's kind of cool. There's another one right there. Right in left side. On your right side up on the hill, you'll see an okapi. Now, a lot of people think they're related to zebras because of their white stripes, but they're actually related to giraffes. Oh, there's more. The okapi have a long prehensile tongue that they use to grasp leaves off the trees. There we go. And the males have ossicones or little horns on their head. The birds coming up to your right side are called saddle billed storks. And they communicate by rattling their bills. They have a wingspan up to nine feet long. And their legs are well suited for wading in the water to hunt for insects and fish. Over to the left side will be a black rhinoceros. They can weigh up to three thousand pounds. And they have a prehensile or finger-like lip that they use to grasp leaves off the trees. And over to your right side will be the kudu. The females, the animals here in the Aituri forest will use their camouflage. They submerged for up to eight minutes at a time. They're tired. There'll be some hippos in the water to your left side as well. They're out there. Let's get the ones in the water. They don't actually oh, right over there. swim. See they just walk or run along the bottom. A group of hippos are called a bloat. It's a bloat. The birds to the left side. Oh, here's the crackers. <laughs> 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 Over to your right side, you'll see the Their diet mainly consists of fish, but they'll eat any 
see some giraffes way over there eating. Also to the right side, you'll see some giraffes. They are the tallest mammal capable of reaching heights up to 20 feet tall. And a group of giraffes are called a tower. African painted dogs. Right there. They're very social animals. Yeah. And they'll live in packs of so 15 adults. Social as they like. Each they're not has moving. A unique patchwork coat. And they're able yeah, to they recognize are. each other even from a distance. Over yeah. to the far left are the sable antelope. They yeah, are the dog. emblem here at the Harambe Wildlife Preserve. And, then the and their horns are deterred from oh, lions well, the beast. wanting to jump up onto their backs. Yep, some zebra, some wildebeest. Also to your left side, you'll see the Hartman's Mountain Zebra. zebra. Those big mounds and to the left the side are the Those are actually like termite mounds. Because the grunt sounds they make sound like new, new. Oh, nope, there's a giraffe. Eat you'll see way. another giraffe to your left side, What's some more there? to your right side as well. Look at that big termite mound. Look at that. Also on your right and left side are some termite mounds. They're made out of soil, saliva, and dung. Yeah. Elephants can use them. There's another. There's one else just hanging out. Yeah. And then in the, even in the trees there, there's another giraffe bee. For a species to have a dual right right an extra skin fold yeah. in their nest. Yeah. They're just walking right by us. During the warmer temperatures, <coughs> a group of zebra <coughs> are called a dazzle. Look at that, just walking right by us. Hello. Three to four feet long. Oh, to see cattle. Just also to the right side are the springbok. They can spring six feet into the air, leap 13 feet forward. Wow. And they can reach spring speeds bot, up huh? to 50 to 60 miles an hour. But they have to do that to avoid getting eaten. They are one of them. And over to the left side are the mandrels. Oh, the mandrels. They are the largest monkeys in the world. An adult male can weigh up to 100 pounds. Wow. There's the back of the elephant. Okay. Wow. There. Elephants are found in a matriarchal society where the females will spend the majority of their time. All male group called a bachelor herd. Remember, there's that the path up there where we got to watch them. Conflict is the mining of a Were they? Wasn't that one girl telling us that the baby still hasn't crossed under the bridge? And they are the lightest pink color of the flamingo species. Oh, that's a whole bunch of them. And they can weigh up to 5,000 pounds. Over to your left. There it is. I see it. He's walking. Walking away. Look at that. 